Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on the Ordinary Boy Boxing Channel. Now in today's episode it's going to be my quick pick uh, for the potential and I think probable now fight uh, between WBC champion and lineal champion Tyson Fury and ex-UFC heavyweight champion Ngannou. Um, <laughs> so where to begin? So we, back when, at the end of last year, when Fury fought um, Derek Chisora, um, we were promised that this was just a stopgap before a big fight, um, ideally against Alexander Usyk, uh, for, to get the undisputed champion. Uh, we all know what happened with that. Um, and there's been back and forth as there always is with Anthony Joshua, um, even talks of a fourth fight with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, none has come to fruition. So instead of these promises that we were given about a big fight for Tyson Fury, we are now going to get this crossover fight. They're going to try and build this up as this is a very special fight, that this is um, a once in a lifetime Look at the success that Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor had, and it's going to be the same, but with heavyweights. Um, also, there's rumours that there'll be no knockdowns in this fight. It'll essentially be an exhibition sparring match. I'm going to hope at least that's not true. Otherwise, what is the point? Um, especially with two heavyweights, the only selling point is that someone could get knocked out. Um... The difference for me between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor and Tyson Fury versus Ngannou is by the time we got to Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, and I'm not a fan of him, but he'd fought everyone he could. Every name he needed to fight he'd fought. The last name left was Manny Pacquiao when he went and fought him and beat him. So by the time we got to Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor, it there was no one else for Floyd to really fight that was going to generate much interest. After Manny Pacquiao had fought Berto, it did shit, no one cared. So I could see why he fought Conor McGregor. And Conor McGregor at the time, big star, um, active, so it, it made a lot of sense. Uh, now we have Tyson Fury versus Ngannou. Fury is... Um, Fury should be fighting Anthony Joshua. Fury should be fighting Usyk. Um, you could even go to... Joe Joyce or Dubai or whoever you want. There's a lot of people he should be fighting that he he, he isn't or hasn't. Um, so for them to put him in against someone who's never boxed before, I don't get it. Um, I, I'm going to be absolutely honest with the viewers as well. Not hot on UFC. Um, I know Conor McGregor. I know Ronda Rousey who's not in it anymore. Khabib. I knew of Ngannou, I literally, before this video, watched some highlights of his UFC fights. Um, he looks very slow, he looks like a hard hitter, don't get me wrong. He probably hits harder than Tyson Fury, but that doesn't mean anything in this fight. Uh, very, very slow. So we'll get on to my prediction anyway, this was the point of this video. Um, not just me saying what a stupid fight it would be. Um, obviously, I, I'm going to say as well in this prediction that this isn't an exhibition so much that there are knockdowns, knockouts and points at the end. Even though that might not be true. But what's the point? So let's pretend that that is going to be what happens. Um, obviously, Tyson Fury, who is the heavyweight champion of the world, beats Ngannou who has never had a boxing match before, obviously. Um, from the bits I saw of Ngannou, like I said, he's quite slow. He does hit hard, but he's never had a professional boxing match. Fury's fought the likes of Deontay Wilder, who, you know, has his flaws, but was the heavyweight champion, and he hits hard, and it didn't stop Fury. Um, Fury will play with him. Fury will showboat. Fury will make a bit of an exhibition out of it to get people's money's worth. It would be quite funny if Fury got caught with one by Ngannou, but it's not going to happen. Um, so Tyson Fury versus Ngannou, my prediction is Tyson Fury to stop Ngannou. Um, he'll, he'll make it last a little bit, I don't know, let's say round eight, he'll stop Ngannou. Um, on a side note, 
the heavyweight division at the moment is just in such a, a dire state. There's just no activity. There's so much talk, but no action. Um, Wilder's fought once since Fury. Fury fought, was it twice last year? And his last fight was against Chisora, so he's not fought this year. Joshua had that very, very lackluster fight against Jermaine Franklin. Anusik's um, last fight was when he beat Joshua, so it's just the inactivity. And unfortunately with the heavyweights, and it's always been this way, the heavyweight division affects the rest of the weights because it is the gold star, the blue ribbon division. When that does well, everyone else does well. When it doesn't do well, people don't do as well. So, um, yeah, I'm really disappointed with the heavyweights at the moment. It's all talk. There's too much money on the table and too many egos, and it's stopping all of these fights happening. Um, and now we're ending up with Tyson Fury versus Ngannou, it looks like. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in this fight. If you're a UFC fan, do you see something about Ngannou that I don't see? Uh, do let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like. And most importantly, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next video.